Over 70 years ago, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Japanese Americans confronted an untrusting nation. In 1943, the 442nd 100th Battalion Combat Regimental Team, the first ever all Japanese American military unit, was formed. Said Tsukiyama, one of the few remaining Nisei veterans from the 442nd, shares his experience of the price of equality. There was a price to pay. You know, blood was shed, lives were, were lost, and uh, all that is because, you know, the motivation is we've got to prove our loyalty. Through his service in the military, Mr. Tsukiyama envisioned the country where all races come together. The lesson is that, well, you know, you've heard the phrase, Americanism is not a matter of race, color, ancestry. Americanism is a matter of the mind, the heart, and the spirit. The hard work and success of the 442nd made it possible for more Japanese Americans to advance in the U.S. society. General Shinseki, you know, he, be, he became the first uh, Japanese American to be chief, army chief of staff, the, the number one uh, position in, in, uh, in the U.S. Army. And he always says, uh, you know, I got here, I'm standing on the shoulders of those Nisei soldiers. So he, he knows that somebody else sacrificed, somebody else worked hard. To this day, the work and the values of the 442nd still live in the hearts and the minds of the American people. Major Kimura of Roosevelt High School is a senior instructor of the JROTC program and a firm supporter of the values of the 442nd. That working together and, and that focus and that, that discipline drove them to accomplish a lot of things that other units that didn't have that type of adversity to, to bind them together. Uh, it's just fantastic what they were, were able to accomplish uh, in that very, uh, very intense situation, uh, time, time period of our history. Major Kimura uses the values and lessons of the 442nd to teach his cadets the importance of cooperation. Bringing to the ROTC program is team building, team bonding, working as a team. One person is not more important than the other. It's a whole team concept. And uh, of, of course, a lot of the uh, indoctrination, and I guess Douglas MacArthur said it the best way, duty, honor, country, and then we put it here, duty, honor, country, and Roosevelt. And the last thing I want to emphasize is that each one of us has uh, strong points, and sometimes we need some, some help in some areas. But if we're working together, uh, that's, that's the ideal situation, and that's what we want to do with our program here at Roosevelt. From a soldier with a cause, to an army instructor, to the future leaders of our nation, the legacy of the 442nd lives on. This is Abigail Olipani from Roosevelt High School reporting for Yikino.